Welcome to The Bark, episode eight. And we are doing an update with the head wrestling coach, Coach Kilhouse. Hey, how's it going, Kenan? It's going, man. It's just going. I know it's been a crazy morning for you. It has been a crazy morning. Um, I feel you. It's, it's, you know, state championship week for us, so it's a crazy week right, for us right. as well. We're just, we're moving, we're doing stuff. You know, being as busy as we are, busy men. Um, so, yeah, talk to us about, what y'all breaking a school record? Yeah, we uh, we qualified nine uh, wrestlers for the state tournament, which is a school record. Um, two freshmen, a freshman had qualified for state in almost twenty years, and so that's really exciting. We qualified two two of them. Uh, you know, just just being able to take that many guys to the state tournament is a really big deal, especially taking young guys. Mm. Of the nine that we're taking, seven will be back next year. So, uh, what do you think? What do you think really uh, amplified this year? Like, so what did y'all do to really make it where this year was y'all's year? You know, it's just it's, it's a process, and I know that's kind of coach speak stuff you hear all the time. Nick Saban's favorite thing to say right, is right. trust the process, but it really right. is a process. Um, you know, this is our second year in as a, as a coaching staff and really trying to build on what Coach Crook did and uh, really have had great buy-in by the guys, by their families. And so um, when, when you have a whole group of uh, a community, both – Athletes and parents buy in the way that ours has. It, it just really builds to success. They 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 trust what we say, trust what we're doing. Mm. Um, you know, we've we've had a great booster club that has helped raise money for us to travel all, all over the southeast. You know, we've been to North Carolina, Alabama, wrestling in tournaments, and so our guys have been in some big uh, big events and wrestled some people that uh, they wouldn't or- ordinarily get to. Mm. And so, uh, what a, what does this entail? So like how does this work? So now that they've qualified for state, do they still are they are they still individual? Yeah, it's still individuals. And so they will move throughout the uh the, the bracket in the state tournament as individuals. Mm-hmm. Is that it, separated by weight? It is separated by weight. Okay. So there's you know, there's fourteen different weight classes. We have nine different guys wrestling and so um, you know, they, they are uh, based on how they did last week at sectionals is where they're placed in the bracket and then they'll move across throughout it and uh top five or really top six in the state place and so that's the goal is to to get on the podium so i mean how, i mean how do you feel about it you know being the coach that broke the school record it's exciting it's not about me though it, it's really not i mean the, the these guys have really like i said have really bought into what we're doing and have worked extremely hard mm. and uh, i'm just proud of them you know it's uh as we're preparing for the state tournament we we'll go back and look at some film from earlier in the year and you know just seeing how the guys have progressed throughout mm. the year because of their hard work is is, is just exciting to see. And um, I'm excited to see how they do this week. So for them, are you like – are you amping up practice? Are you letting them take it easy, take it in? Like, hey, you're going? Or what are you doing? Are you, are you hitting the brakes or are you hitting the full speed? We kind of have uh, – the, the past couple of weeks we've kind of fallen into a routine. Uh, Mondays are a light day. Mm. Uh, and then with just wrestling on Saturdays this week uh, for the last about month – um, Fridays are kind of a light day. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday are hard days, and so we like yesterday was a light day for us. Today will be a little bit, a bit, little bit heavier day. Tomorrow will be a light day because it's the day before. But mm-hmm. you know, we just we do what we do, and that's the that's what we've been kind of preaching to our guys. You know, don't worry about what anybody else is doing; just go do what you do. Well, if you had if you had to put a a, a phrase or a motto on your season overall, what would it be? You know, what we've been saying for the past two years is raise the standard. Okay. And so everything we do, we want to do better than what we did the previous year. Mm. And so, um, you know, guys that qualified last year, the goal is to place this year. And guys that, that didn't qualify last year, the goal is to qualify. And now that they're there, you know, it's to go place. But but we want to raise the standard of Jones County Wrestling, and I, I think that's what we've done this year and we want to continue to do. That's good. I do appreciate you coming out here on The Bark. Thanks for having me, Kenan. This has been The Bark, and I appreciate you all for listening.